We're back to one of our new favorite activities. We're on the hunt for hot springs, but we've had some successes and some fails. Yeah, but it's kind of hard to be mad at your failures whenever you're hanging out in a place as beautiful as the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia. And actually, we're gonna be here for the next two episodes, hunting for hot springs, searching for waterfalls, finding some swimming holes, and exploring Shenandoah National Park. Yeah, there were a couple things that were left over from our list when we were here a couple of summers ago, and we are back for redemption. We saw no signs indicate that we are trespassing. A little unprepared for the no service, no water, no plan. No anything. Set in stone. The very first natural hot spring spa structure in the entire country. Lake Mimu? Mu Moomal. It's like Mimo, like a southern grandma, but a moo, so Moomal. <laughs> You know Virginia and Thomas Jefferson, they're like this, and this used to be like one of his hangout spots. Being that we're gonna be on the road on the loose plan plan for the next few weeks, we just got the RV maintenance and there's a couple of small things we need to take care of before we actually hit the road. First thing we need to take care of is our safety brake cable. And it broke, so we have to replace it. If you don't know, the purpose of this cable is if your RV becomes disconnected from the truck, it'll pull this little safety pin and automatically stop the brake so your trailer doesn't roll away. But it doesn't do you any good if it gets old and rusty and breaks, which it just broke. Thankfully, we have been keeping an eye on it because it was starting to look a little rusty. But luckily, we were able to find a replacement cable on Amazon and it has excellent reviews and it's supposed to not rust and give away so easily. Yeah. Let's cut this old cable off. Not exactly the most ideal tool, but installation is super easy. All you got to do is attach the ring to the pin and then whenever you're ready to hook up to the truck, you put this on with your chains. Okay. Just one more step or you can attach it to your chain. Second, our hitch and our axle could probably use a little lubing, especially our leaf springs. They're sounding a little creaky. Now we are using white lithium grease, so make sure that you wash your hands after using this or use some gloves. And really last step is checking tire pressure. Yet again, another very useful tool that we found on Amazon. Gone are the days of trying to maneuver our RV around crowded parking lots and gas stations to check our tire pressure. This allows us to check it instantly and only pull up to those gas stations if we actually need air. And uh, bonus, it also checks your tread. I know I said previously that I was not gonna throw shade at Camping World like I know a lot of folks out there do, but four days ago, we got these bearings replaced. We're now in Charlotte. And as we're about to pull out, we realize that the cover over the bearings is rolling around inside the cap and that there's a pin sticking out of the bearings that doesn't look like it should be. So we're at Camping World in Charlotte and they're gonna take care of this and they're taking us kind of last minute. So hopefully this all gets done with the quickness. Okay, Oreo, what do you think? How long is this repair gonna take? I don't know, but it definitely delayed us because we were about to head up to Virginia and uh, now <laughs> we're sitting around Charlotte for a few hours. Okay, things have not worked out the way that we wanted them to today. Unfortunately, our RV is still in the shop over at Camping World coming Four up. Four hours later. Yeah, it's coming up on five o'clock and that's when the service department closes, but they promised that we will have the RV back for the day. What it screwed up for us is we were supposed to drive five plus hours up to the mountains in Virginia today. And now we're staying in the Camping World Racing Resort for at least tonight because there's no way we're gonna show up in Virginia at 11 o'clock tonight. Nope. 
now that we've resigned ourselves to staying here another night, we thought we'd let the puppies get some fresh air because the poor things have been cooped up in the car just as long as we have while we've just been hoping and praying that the RV would be done. <laughs> yeah, get that water, girl. It's hot out here. It's hot out in these streets. So we finally got our RV back from Camping World. Actually, after the service department closed, I'm pretty sure we actually made some people stay late, but we are grateful because they replaced not just one, but all four bearings because they said eventually it would have led to issues, which means bad installation. Uh, everything seems to be resolved now and I feel much safer getting on the road up to the mountains of Virginia. Obviously, we're a little irritated at the work that was done at the Camping World in Greenville because it was not the best but we're grateful that we were able to get this done all for free here in Charlotte, as it should be. And we had an awesome mechanic who worked on it and he came and talked to us and also let us know that the brakes are next up to be replaced. Some of y'all might have been around back in the summer of 2021, but uh, we spent one of Victoria's travel contracts in the Roanoke, Virginia area. And we're passing through right now and like you almost forget how beautiful this whole area is. It is gorgeous. Okay, well, we made it. Bowler Mountain Recreation Area, and it's absolutely gorgeous up here in Virginia, right next to the West Virginia border. Just be warned, you don't have any servers here or pretty far outside of here, so you might wanna download some maps before you come in. At least 30 minutes. This seems like a cute campground so far, but word to the wise, do not book Loop 1 Site 5 because it is set up all wrong. I don't know if you can tell, but our power is on this side and our patio is on that side with the slides, so. Yeah, uh, and we rolled up and one of the other campers here was like, yeah, I've seen other people pull through the site. This is not a pull through site. No. And through the woods on their way out. I'm like, my camper doesn't fit there. So we backed in, we ran the cord underneath the RV. No biggie. But we did think we had a water hookup. We don't. So we're just going to have to manage. There's a bathhouse just across the way. So. Oddly enough, there are sites that are right near us that have water hookups, so I don't know why we don't, and I don't have the internet to look it up if, whether or not we were supposed <laughs> right. to, but we'll just roll with the punches. Luckily, we do have two five-gallon collapsible water jugs that we were able to fill up right across the way, so that'll tide us over. We were a little unprepared for the no service, no water, no plan no anything. set in stone. So uh, we did have to come down to Hot Springs, Virginia, uh, which is about 40 minutes from our campground. And we posted up here at Sam Sneed's Tavern, who famous PGA golfer and has a golf course at the Omni Resort. And it's super nice. So here we are back in Hot Springs, regrouping, trying to figure out our lives right now because 
we actually get service here so we can look things up and when we did our original research to come here it seemed pretty straightforward but we have definitely run into a couple of snacks uh, some of the hot springs either seem to not exist or are the same as another one or are on private property so it's been a little bit difficult so we're gonna try and figure this out. We stopped for, you know, a little midday beer at Pacova Beer Company in downtown Hot Springs. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so we just rolled up to Bowler Springs. We don't see any private property signs and we just read in an article that was put out like a week ago that like you can access these, this pool. So uh, I guess we're about to find out. It's a little spooky, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, there it is. Well, look at that. Oh uh, yeah. Look, you can see it bubbling up. Okay, so here's the deal with Bowler Springs. This is as far north as we're gonna go for one of these natural springs. It's about 30 minutes north of Hot Springs. And we're not gonna call it a hot spring because it's actually 73 degrees at all times. And in fact, they even have a thermometer in there. We checked, it is 73 degrees. So right now it's kind of a refreshing cool down. <laughs> yeah, nothing that we read and we saw no signs indicate that we are trespassing. There was also people here that were checking the spot out as well as we rolled up. Generally, when we come across those iffy spots where you probably shouldn't be there, there happens to be very right. clear signs and you really know that you shouldn't be there yeah. so and there were none of those here. right and we're not sure exactly what this whole bowler spring area was some sort of event space but it looks kind of abandoned so that's the only reason that we're questioning ourselves i think they may have built this tub in the 70s to help hold the spring water in place in the pool and it's supposed to have healing properties as are all of these hot springs it's not all that hot out today so i think this is probably going to be a quick dip in for them healing properties and a jump right the heck back out. <laughs> One, two, three. three. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's not too bad once you're in there. No, no, no. Oh, it's, it's not bubbly. Terrible. It is bubbly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh. All right, my jump's in. We're good. We're good. One thing of note, there is a ton of algae in here but they say don't let that deter you it's still natural good for you but you know. just wear some water shoes yeah which we're wearing yep all right do you feel healed yeah okay yeah. let's go Yeah, that was fun, but on to the next adventure. Let's go. We're finally exploring our actual campground. Got out here to Lake Mimu, Moo, Moo, Moo Mall. It's like Mimo, like a southern grandma, but a <laughs> moose, so a Moo Mall. <laughs> We showed you the lake, but technically they do have a designated beach area. So we came out here to catch sunset. This is kind of the thing that we've discovered is driving around the lake. Pretty much if you have a watercraft of any kind, like our paddle boards, uh, you basically can post up anywhere around this lake. Yeah, I think the fluctuating water levels makes it so that there are beaches literally everywhere. There's no doubt that you can pull up anywhere you want to.
Now technically, this is a natural hot spring, but we're not gonna be able to get down to it. We're here at Falling Spring Falls, which is about 15 minutes south of Hot Spring, Virginia. This is one of the most photographed things in the area, not only because it's beautiful, but also because it's literally five feet off of the road, so it's very accessible. When you do a little research on this place, you might see people say that they've been down in the springs and by the waterfall, but I don't know if maybe you used to could. You definitely can't now, and it is all trespassing. Do not go beyond this fenced area. We've already, we've been here for 10 minutes. We've already seen kids get yelled at for being on the other side of this fence. So. But either way, it's definitely worth a stop off. You know Virginia and Thomas Jefferson, they're like this. And this used to be like one of his hangout spots. He wrote how this is the most beautiful cascade in the entire state. Well, it's 80 feet tall and the water at the bottom of it is 77 degrees. And I really wish I could get down there, but. We figured since we were visiting Fall Spring Falls, just down the road, I think like 15 minutes, is Humpback Bridge, which is the oldest covered bridge in Virginia and the last remaining bridge of its kind in the entire country. Yeah, so it's called Humpback because it is four feet taller in the center than it is on either side. And the whole thing is 100 feet long. For being built in 1857, looks in pretty good shape to me. It also has a little like five acre park with river access, picnic tables, and might be the perfect spot to stop off for a little lunch spot. This right here, Warm Springs Pool, is actually the very first natural hot spring spa structure in the entire country. The original octagonal pool was built in 1761. This place has been known as the Warm Springs Bath, the Great Bath, the Lum Pools, Healing Springs. So when you're looking it up, it can be kind of confusing because this place has gone through a lot of names. This is now owned by the Omni Warm Springs Homestead and you pay $30 for 50 minutes per person. We're more primitive hot springs type people, but this was worth the $30 per person. And there's a lot of history involved in this place. Thomas Jefferson even soaked here. Speaking of, we actually showed up during the co-ed time where we could both go in the same pool together. So they just split us up by last name between the male and the female pools. Yes, bathing suits are required during this time. They also have separate times for women and men wear clothing is optional. The first two things to know about our soak, we are extremely relaxed, but also looking like raisins. <laughs> there are 15 minerals in this spring and it is 90 to seven degrees at all times, but it's supposed to be a tranquil experience and you're really not supposed to talk. They give you these little floaties and 50 minutes is a long time not to talk. Yeah, and to just like sit in the water, you know? Yeah, but once you kind of like get your groove on and you know, almost meditate, focus on relaxing, it's it's pretty nice. It was very cool. Main thing to know though is you do require a reservation, so keep that in mind. Definitely worth the $30, because I'm pretty sure you could come at me with any problem in the world right now, and that thing would just roll right down my back. <laughs> Next natural spring on the list is a place called Blowing Spring. Unfortunately, we feel like we're standing in it according to our GPS, 
but I don't know if that's accurate. We're at the Blowing Spring Campground and we mapped this thing out when we did have service, but now we're in a spot where we can't double check, so. Hot air is blown from between rocks at about 58 degrees at all times, which makes it heated a little bit different than most other hot springs that we've been to. Obviously using the term hot springs a little loosely, I guess just a natural spring. But either way, everything that we saw said it's nearby Back Creek and we are on Back Creek, in fact. So. Standing in it. Maybe we'll in do fact. a little exploring and maybe we'll get lucky. We know for sure that there's a spring that comes out near the side of the road according to the map. And we're standing in water that feels definitely warmer than the river. So I think it's coming out from right over here into the creek. But I do feel a difference even within the shallow water. You know, it's gonna be a little bit warmer, but like between here and kind of like... Yeah, but I was in shallow water down there and it was cold. I'm in shallow water right here, and it's pretty nice. I think we found it, y'all. Found you a little dip to cool off, huh? Oh, it's really cold. All right, that was good. <laughs> I feel like this might be some of the prettiest colored rocks I've seen on like a riverbed or a lake bed on the East Coast. It's very pretty. call this a river float because we're not moving it's more of a river sit to cool down because man it is blazing hot here in august but this back creek is absolutely refreshing but i am not quite ready to commit so I'm yeah to she look at you see her planking it out <laughs> We just went downstream a little to a place that's shady and should be cooler, but it's actually not too bad, which further supports that we may be in the right spot. And the investigation continues. Guess what? We have no internet, no service, so we're gonna treat it like it's 1999 and say, this is it. That's right, and uh, we'll let y'all comment in the section below and correct us, because I know y'all love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> spooked him I didn't mean to but we're on the island in the middle of the lake and there's a family of deer walking around so I'm like y'all really swam this swim here? I mean it's not terribly far but this lake is 80 feet deep so like I don't know I mean good on them but man it's a tough swim back across <laughs> Speaking of, I kind of attributed the low water level to it being like a mountain lake where, you know, a lot of times the snow will melt and it fills up. However, I did happen to hear a local say that like they haven't had rain in a long time. So this is really, really low even for them. Definitely one of the benefits of coming to stay up at Bowler Mountain Campground is that you have the lake. And honestly, it's one of the cleanest lakes I've seen on the East Coast. Yeah, but let me tell you ladies that uh, clear doesn't necessarily mean good for your hair because I've taken a <laughs> dip in some of these like hot springs or lakes and like the minerals in them is like really bad. <laughs> yeah. We've actually extended two extra days because we had the time and we're on the loose plant plant and we wanted to be able to come out and enjoy the lake. So the last two evenings we've come out onto the lake and paddled over to this island. And Victoria actually just did a DJ set, which I'm sure you'll see in a couple weeks and murdered it. <laughs> Now 
there are quite a few beaches and quite a few campgrounds, but you have to have your own watercraft to find your own island. That's right. Okay, so this leg of the trip is a wrap. Uh, our time at Hot Springs, Virginia in the Buller Mountain Recreation Area has come to an end and it's time to head down the road to Shenandoah National Park. This area has been great. It has hot springs, it has swimming holes, it has the lake, it has like everything you can need up here except for cell phone service. Yeah. So it was kind of great to get off grid for a little while. Pretty short drive day, two hours down the road to our dispersed camping slash boondocking spot outside of Shenandoah National Park and that is where we will be catching y'all next Sunday. Bye. Bye y'all.